Hi guys, it's the year 2022 and in John 20, 22, it says this. And when he had said this, he breathed on them. That's talking about Jesus and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. Oh, sweet spirit, carry me along. Oh, sweet spirit, carry me along. To my lips are clean and my mind can see. More than ever, we Christians, people of God, family of God, we got to be filled with the Holy Spirit. In John chapter 7, Jesus says this incredible verse, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit, whom those believing in him would receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given. Jesus is now in heaven. And just like he promised all those years ago, he sent the Holy Spirit. But we're to continually be filled with the Spirit. You know that human beings can't live without water. I think it can go three days without water unless it's some kind of supernatural thing. But actually, Jesus describes the Holy Spirit as water that we need to drink all the time. So we need to be filled with the Spirit more than ever. So why doesn't God just blast everyone with the Spirit? Why does He say receive the Holy Spirit? I'm going to just pour myself a drink. I'm going to receive a drink of water and it's in my hand, but unless I actually drink it, it's not going to benefit me in any way. And some of us like to play it safe. We like to watch other people be filled with the Spirit, or we like to watch from a distance because maybe we're a bit afraid of the Holy Spirit. But we actually need to drink the living water. Mm. And water is amazing, isn't it? So listen, you have to receive the Holy Spirit. And God has chosen it that way because he doesn't violate our free will. Why can't he just go around and make everyone just instantly be filled with the Spirit? And all through the Bible, it says, receive it, drink it. I remember years ago where I was learning about thing, the things of the Spirit. And we were at church and the, the pastor was asking for the Holy Spirit to be poured out. And I was afraid. I was afraid that what if I ask for the Spirit, but some other Spirit fills me and I might get deceived or controlled by another Spirit. And I think a lot of us, because we've seen strange things happen or people misrepresent the Holy Spirit, we're afraid of the Holy Spirit. What if something else fills me and not the Spirit? Listen to what Luke 11 said. Ask and, you'll re ask and you'll receive, seek and you'll find, and knock and the door will be opened to you. That's Luke eleven ten, And then he says, for everyone who asks receives. And then later in verse 11, if a son asks for bread from any father among you, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent instead? And then it says, but if you then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? I'm asking a good Father. I'm asking the Holy Father, who's the Father of me, to give me his Spirit, which is good and perfect, and he will give it. So we don't need to be afraid. If we're asking our Heavenly Father for the Spirit, because He loves to pour out His Spirit, I'm not asking for another Spirit. So that really helped me. And then when the Holy Spirit touched me, I was really impacted by the Spirit of God. We need this living water. We need to be filled with the Holy Spirit every day. The churches need to be filled. We need to have that empowerment. We need that living water. So I bless you. Get alone with God. Take a risk. Invite the Holy Spirit. If you don't know Jesus, 
Oh man, ask him, ask him to live in you and to pour that spirit into you and you'll be changed. I bless you to receive in Jesus name. Bye. Testing, one, two, three, the garbage truck just went by.